Welcome everyone. My name is Angie. Um, I hope you're having a good day. Today we are going to be um, kind of working our way. It's like a movement pattern. We're just going to be working our way up the mat, a little twist and working back. So um, something like that I have in mind. We're just going to see what happens. We'll begin in child's pose. Toes together, knees wide. Feel free to uh, grab blocks if you have them. If not, a water bottle will do. Something tall that you can just use for a little extra support. As you work your way into child's pose, work the knees as wide as is comfortable for you. Set the hips in between the heels. Reach through the fingertips. Find the breath here for a few breaths. Dropping in. Seeing if you can use your breath to slow the fluctuations of the mind, right? So we concentrate on the breath and it kind of quiets some of the thoughts a, li a little bit. Allowing the body to expand as you breathe in. And feel the sink and the ease and the contraction on the exhale. Maybe you rock the head side to side on your mat. Massage the third eye a little bit. Keep the breath going. One more breath in, reach the arms forward a little bit more. Maybe you lift up the torso, elongate the spine. On an exhale, walk the hands over to the right. Stack the left palm on top of the left hand. Feel the left hip anchored down. And a nice stretch through the left side body. Take a breath in, fill the rib cage up. Stay for the exhale. Inhale through center. And exhale to the left. Again, we're Stacking the right palm on top of the back of the left hand. Right hip anchors down. Feel the stretch through the right side body. Breath in. Stay for the exhale. Walk the hands in through center. Stay for an exhale. Inhale to round up into a tabletop position. Stack the knees under the hips, press the shins into the mat, wrists under the shoulders, spread the fingers wide, roll the shoulders back and down, expose the heart forward, maybe a gentle bend in the elbow here, long neck, and then zip the belly into the spine. So we're not dropping out through the core, we're active. You'll feel the glutes light up as well, right? So we're just finding this strong tabletop, active tabletop. Good. And then we'll inhale, keeping the spine where it's at and the glutes where they're at. Extend the leg, extend the arm. We'll lift up through the thigh. Send the heart forward a bit. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale to reach and extend. Exhale, knee to elbow. One more, reach. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale to reach, exhale, plant the hand, plant the knee. Inhale to extend the opposite, left hand, right leg. Strong through the core. And we're lifting through the back of the right thigh. Send the heart forward a bit. Take a breath in. 
Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale to reach. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, reach. Exhale, crunch it in. Inhale, reach long. Exhale, tabletop. Drop the belly, lift the chest, gaze up. Exhale, press the, the ground away. Tuck the tailbone, tuck the chin for cat. Inhale for cow. Exhale, cat. Keep going. Follow the pace of your own breath. Stretching the front body and the back body. Good. We'll come into um, a cat pose, so arching the spine up. Exhale to set the hips back onto the knees. Inhale, glide forward into an upward facing dog. Pull the heart forward. Exhale, tabletop. Breath in. Exhale, uh, cat pose. And the hips go back. Inhale, forearms come to the mat. Glide forward, upward facing dog. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, round through cat. Exhale, tuck the toes, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Ooh, did you guys hear that? <laughs> that was my back. Nice, got a nice crack out of it there. All right, so we'll pedal out our dog here. Maybe you send the heels to one side of the mat and then the other, stretching through the side body. And we'll find stillness here. So we'll gentle bend in the knees, come onto the toes, tilt the tailbone up towards the sky, press through the fingers, externally rotate the arms so the uh, elbow pits face forward, triceps face back. Release of the neck here. Feeling the connection of the palms on the ground and the feet on the ground. Just aware of this connection to the earth, bringing in a little bit of the earth element. Sense of grounding. Inhale to lift the heels. Exhale, bend the knees, top of the mat. Inhale to lift halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift. Halfway lift, draw the head forward. Exhale, fold. Couple more here. Lead with the crown of the head. Shift the weight into the toes. Zip up through the core. Exhale to fold. Couple more. Feel the backs of the legs light up. Exhale, fold. Last one, halfway lift. Fold. Inhale to rise, reach the arms high. Exhale, Anjali Mudra, palms lower down, shoulders away from the ears, close the eyes. Two deep breaths, fill up. Let it go. Breath in. Exhale its mouth. Inhale, lift the arms, reach high. Exhale, palms lower down through heart center. Inhale, sweep the arms. Exhale, Anjali Mudra. Inhale to reach. Exhale, Anjali. 
One more. Inhale, reach up. Anjali Mudra to fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms, high plank to low plank. Option to drop the knees here and take a modified um, low plank. And then inhale, upward facing dog. Pull the hip joints forward and active through the legs here. And then wrap the shoulder blades back to send the heart forward. You'll feel the rib cage pull forward a bit as well. Breathe in. Exhale, drop the knees, tuck the toes, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Moving slow at first, mindful. Then with integrity. Being honest about every shape, every posture that we're making. Do we need to drop a knee or use a block? Find engagement in a different place. Inhale to lift the heels. Bend the knees, top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale to lift, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, reach high. Anjali Mudra, palms lower down. Inhale to reach. Exhale to fold. Ardha Uttanasana, halfway lift, draw the head forward. Exhale, Chaturanga, plant the palms down, feet step back. Maybe you drop the knees, lower down, halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. Again, check in here. Press through the hands, lift up, open the chest. Exhale, downward facing dog. All right, we'll move faster now. Inhale to lift the heels. Bend the knees, top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, Anjali Mudra. Inhale to lift, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, Chaturanga. Lower down halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, bend the knee, open the hip. Take some circles here. Option to flip your dog, if that's in your practice, letting the right foot drop to the left side of the body, setting the hips high. If you flipped your dog, come back on the inhale. We'll exhale, knee to nose, shift forward. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, shift forward, plant the right foot down, drop the back knee. Inhale, the arms high. Exhale, half split, send the hips back. Stay here for a few rounds of breath. Maybe you're finding balance, or maybe you're folding in completely, option to have blocks under the hands. So you get to choose your own adventure, if you will. Do you want it to be um, a little more spicy today? Then if so, Find your balance, you know, use a little bit more activation. Keep reaching through the heart. Good, and we're gonna keep these hands where they're at. If your hands are on the ground, lift up, float them behind you in this um, like airplane half splits. And then we'll lean forward, bending into the front knee keeping the heart reaching forward. Inhale, drop the left hand, right hand swings up to twist open. Option to have a block under the left hand here. So again, integrity and truth. 
satya in yoga. It's one of the moral ethical uh, principles of yoga. Take a breath in. Exhale, take the quad stretch. Bend into the left knee, reach for the foot. Inhale, release. Drop the left foot and come into a wide-legged forward fold facing the left side of your mat. Standing wide-legged forward fold. Inhale to lift up halfway. Exhale to fold. All right, we'll inhale to rise, reaching the arms high, coming into a star pose. And then exhale, warrior two. Pivot the front foot forward, bend into the front knee. We'll be here for a couple breaths. Drop the shoulders away from the ears. Reach through the fingers. Keep that bend in the front knee. Inhale to reverse your warrior. Exhale, side angle. Right elbow to right knee. Left arm reaches up overhead. And then we're not dropping into this right elbow. Staying strong through the core here. So you can kind of lift up. Feel the heart open, so left shoulder kind of tilts back behind you. One more breath in. Exhale, pivot on the back toes. Left hand finds the block or the mat. Right hand reaches high. Exhale, frame the front foot. Chaturanga, step back. Lower down halfway. Inhale for up dog. Exhale for downward facing dog. All right, other side, left leg high. Bend the knee, open the hip. Take some circles here. Option to flip your dog. If you did flip, come back on the inhale. We'll meet in three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, three-legged. Exhale, Anjaneya Asana. Left foot steps through, back knee drops down. Inhale, the arms high. Exhale for Ardha Hanumanasana, half splits in your choice. You can fold in, hands to the mat or blocks, or find your balance. Kind of squeezing the shoulder blades together so you see we kind of round here if the shoulders are rounding in. If we lift up, we get more length through the back body. Reaching through the heart. If you're not in this like floating half splits, go ahead and lift up. Tilt your torso forward, reach the arms back. On an inhale, we'll bend in to the left knee, drop the right hand, left arm swings high. Option to have a block here if you'd like. It's creating a little bit more space. You can play around, see what feels good. Take a breath in. Exhale, take the quad stretch, bending into the right knee. Keep taking this twist through the torso, right? So we're opening the left side of the chest up towards the ceiling. Can let the left knee fall out. All right, we'll inhale to release. And then exhale for a wide leg forward fold. Hmm.
Lift up halfway as you breathe in. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bend the knees, rise for star. Exhale, warrior two. Bending into the left knee, left toes face forward. And we can activate through the right leg to kind of peel the hip open a bit more and then send the left knee towards the left side of the mat. Reach through the fingertips. Inhale to reverse your warrior. Exhale, side angle, left elbow to left knee, right arm reaches overhead. And then again, we're strong through the torso here. So we can lift up that left arm and stay in place. Breath in. Exhale, pivot on the back toes, right hand plants, left arm reaches high. That's easy, twist again. Exhale, frame the front foot, step back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg high, three legged dog. Exhale, Anjaneyasana, drop the back knee. Inhale, the arms high. Exhale for half splits. Inhale, revolved on Janae. Left hand down, right arm high. Exhale for the quad stretch. One breath in, one breath out. Inhale, release nice and slow. And exhale, standing wide leg forward fold. Inhale to lift halfway. Exhale to fold. Inhale to rise, reach high. Exhale, pivot the front toes forward, warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, side angle. Inhale. Exhale, left hand down. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, chaturanga. Frame the front foot, step back. Lower down halfway. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Left leg up, three-legged dog. Exhale, Anjaneyasana. Drop the back knee. Inhale, the arms high. Exhale, half splits. Inhale, revolved Anjane. Right hand plants, left arm high. Exhale for the quad stretch. Breath in. Stay for the breath out. Inhale to release. Exhale, wide-legged forward fold. Inhale to lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale to rise, reach high. Exhale, warrior two, front toes pivot forward. Bend into the front knee, arms come down. Inhale to reverse your warrior. Exhale for side angle, left elbow to left knee, right arm reaches high. Breath in. Exhale to frame, or right hand down, left arm high. Easy twist. Exhale for chaturanga. Right foot steps back, lower down halfway. Upward facing dog to downward facing dog as you exhale. Three breaths here. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, high crescent lunge, right foot steps through. Stay high on the back toes as you inhale the arms high. Subtle for the exhale. And we can check in with our alignment here. So we're bending into the front knee, ankle stacked over the knee, pushing off the back toes. So if your heel is close to the ground, see if you can push it away. And then tuck the tailbone so we work into the hip flexors in the psoas. 
arms high. Breath in. Exhale to hinge forward, arrow lunge, arms reach behind you. Inhale, left hand plants, right arm swings high, easy twist. Exhale, frame the front foot, chaturanga, step back, lower down halfway, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Breath in, breath out the mouth. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale to step through. High crescent lunge. Inhale, the arms high. Stay for the exhale. Settle in. Inhale. Exhale, arrow lunge. Inhale, right hand drops, left arm swings high. Exhale, chaturanga, step back, lower down halfway. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Right leg high. Exhale to step through. Inhale to rise, high crescent lunge. Exhale for arrow lunge. Inhale for easy twist, left hand down, right arm high. Exhale. Standing splits, press off the back toes, lift the back leg. Stay for a couple rounds of breath here. Trying to keep the hips square, really releasing through the upper body, so our neck and back is long and we're active through the left leg. We're reaching through the back of the thigh. Good. On an inhale, we'll begin to pull the left knee into the chest and rise into stork, finding some balance here. We'll inhale, extend the left leg. Stay for an exhale. Keep reaching the toes high, inhale. Exhale, warrior three. Swing the left leg behind you. Keep the toes flexed, pointing towards the ground. You can take the, uh, uh, my words, airplane arms or reach the arms out overhead like a traditional warrior three. Breath in. Exhale, find the back of the mat with the toes. Cartwheel the arms open, warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale for triangle, straighten through the front leg, reach through the right arm, and then exhale, left arm reaches up, right arm reaches down. Keep breathing. One more breath in. Exhale, left arm down, right arm reaches high, easy twist. Breath in, exhale, right foot meets the left for side plank. Keep strong, pressing through the left arm as you reach through the right. Hips are lifting up, we're active through the side bodies. Take a breath in, exhale, high plank to low plank, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, left leg high. Exhale to step through. Inhale to rise. Exhale for arrow lunge. Inhale for easy twist. Right hand down, left arm reaches high. Exhale for standing splits. Left hand down, right arm floats, or right leg floats. <laughs> Keep breathing. Lifting through the back of the right thigh. Releasing the upper body. Inhale, we'll draw the right knee into the chest and rise for stork. Stay for the exhale. 
Inhale to extend the right leg, reach to the bottom of the foot, stay for the exhale. Inhale the toes a little bit higher. Exhale, warrior three. Finding a drishti here, a focal point, keeping your gaze locked on one spot. Keep the heart high. Inhale, find the back of the mat with the toes. Cartwheel the arms open. Exhale to settle. Breath in, reverse your warrior. Exhale for side angle. Breath in. Exhale, right hand down, left arm high, revolve or easy twist. And then left foot steps back, side plank. Keep pressing through the bottom arm, reach to the top. Hip, hips are lifting up. And then exhale, chaturanga. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three breaths. Make them long. Right leg up, three-legged dog. Exhale, high crescent. Inhale to rise. Exhale for arrow lunge. Inhale for easy twist. Exhale for standing splits. Inhale for stork. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, extend. Stay for the exhale. Inhale the toes higher. Exhale to hinge, warrior three. One breath in. Stay for the breath out. Inhale, back of the mat, warrior two. Stay for an exhale. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, easy twist, left hand down, right arm up. Exhale, side plank. Breath in, reach the hips high, reach through the fingers. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale. Exhale. Three breaths in here. Take the time to fill up and reoxygenate the body to rest. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale to step through. Inhale to rise. Exhale for arrow lunge. Inhale for easy twist. Exhale for half splits. Inhale for stork. Rise. Woo, that was a wobbly one. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, extend. Stay for the exhale. Inhale the toes higher. Exhale, warrior three. Send the right leg behind you. Inhale, reach through the chest. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, back of the mat, warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, easy twist. Right hand down, left arm high. Exhale, side plank. Inhale, the hips high, reach through the left hand. Exhale for chaturanga, lower down halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale for child's pose. Send the hips back. We'll take three breaths here. Hmm.
All right, from child's pose, we'll keep the um, forearms on the ground, spread the fingers really wide, we're anchored through the palms, and then we'll squeeze the elbows together, so there's this external rotation of the arms. As you come up, lift the hips, tuck the toes under for dolphin. Working into the chest and the shoulders a bit. I always like to throw in some dolphins in my practice. I feel like my shoulders or my practice naturally is very like bottom heavy. I want to balance. I want to be using the strength of my legs. And I really feel like dolphin is such a good pose to work the upper back and the shoulders. So we're like kind of pressing into the mat here, pressing the ground away from you. You can even walk the feet in a little bit higher. Maybe you play with extending one leg and then the other. Maybe you play around with a little bit of an inversion, a little pincha, your choice. We'll be here for three more breaths. On your next inhale, straighten through the elbows, drop the knees, sit back on the heels, close the eyes, backs of the hands on the tops of the thighs, sit up tall, and just observe. Notice how you feel. Feel the sweat on your skin. Maybe you notice the colors or lights behind your eyes. Maybe you observe what's happening with the thoughts, the mind. Notice the body, any areas of tension or resistance. And notice any areas of ease and expansion as well. And blink the eyes open. And we'll come to stand on our knees. Reach the arms out in front of you. Tuck the tailbone. Breath in. Elongate through the spine here. Puff up through the chest. Exhale to lean back. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Stay for a breath in. Stay for a breath out. Inhale forward. Exhale, hands come to the back. Inhale to lift the chest. Stay for an exhale. And then inhale, send the hips forward. Reach the heart up and back. Or camel. Maybe the hands come to the backs or the tops of the heels. And then we're scooping the shoulders with the shoulder blades, if that makes sense. Keep pressing the hips forward, breath into the ribs. Inhale your way back up. Exhale the hips down. We'll come into an embryo pose. So hands reach behind you, head to the mat. Settling the breath. A lot of times heart openers can really increase our heart rate. Heart rate. They increase blood circulation. Viana Vayu, one of the five Vayus, one of the five um, like flows of prana. We have prana that we talked about, apana Vayu, one week. It's the downward and outward flow of energy. You have udana Vayu, it's the prana out from our throat, our throat chakra. We have um, Viana Vayu from our heart, the circulation from our heart and our limbs, and these twisting 
sort of movements. We have Samana Vayu. This activates the solar plexus. And so on. All right, from here, we'll come into a tabletop position. And then we'll step the right foot to the outside of the right hand. So we're going to come into lizard here. Grab some blocks if you have them. If not, some books is fine or a water bottle, but we're just going to work into the hips a bit. You can um, come down onto your elbows if you'd like or stay upright. Option to also take the quad stretch here, but we did a lot of that in practice already, so I'll invite you to fold in and activate in a different way. Well, it's not really active, it's more passive, but target a different um, area. And you can let this right foot fall out a little bit. So kind of coming onto the pinky side edge of the right foot, let the knee open wide. Just kind of exploring, seeing what that feels like. I think it's called like winged lizard. You could even press into that knee. We're just finding stillness. All right, from here, we're gonna wiggle the right foot to the left side of the mat. Drop the shin down. Coming into a pigeon. So um, option to take a block under the right cheek <laughs> um, or just keep them up front under the hands. Option to bend the left knee for more of a deer pose. And if this is too much on the knees, you can always come to lie on your back and come into a figure four, crossing the right ankle over the left knee. Wherever you're at, go ahead and settle in. And through some of these more yin-like postures, I'm gonna remain silent and I'm gonna allow us to just hold them and be with our own thoughts. These postures allow us to be a little bit more introspective and I'm, if I am filling the space with words, then it kind of takes that away from you. So we'll sit in it.
when you're ready, you can begin to press into the hands. And we're just gonna turn onto our butt and extend the left leg long, pull the right foot into the left thigh. So now we're facing sort of the back of the mat and Janu Shir Shasana. Always a hard one for me. <laughs> All right, we'll inhale the arms high. Exhale, left hand goes to the right knee, right arm reaches over. Nice side body stretch here. So I have a long torso and holding on to my knee kind of takes away from my range here. So I do like to bring my elbow to the mat. So you can choose what works for you. Sometimes that um, assist is really nice, but I just can't access my full limit here. So, you know, you decide what works for you. All right, we'll inhale up. We'll um, pivot the torso forward, plant the hands down, and then we're gonna come onto the left toes, pull the right knee into the chest. Exhale for three-legged dog. Bend the knee, open the hip. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, pigeon on the left, or no, lizard on the left, I lied. Again, grab your blocks. And so our left foot is on the outside of our left shoulder. So hips are open a bit more here. And you can drop down onto the back knee. Want to tuck the toes option to stay here or you take the quad stretch but again we did a lot of that so I'll invite you to maybe find a fold instead letting the torso come in and down keep reaching through the heart though and maybe you come onto the edge of the pinky side edge of the foot here let the knee open you can even press into that knee and take a flying lizard or not flying lizard, winged lizard. Or you just stay in center and hold. It's always good to come to about 80% when we come into a yin posture because with time it's going to take us over 100. Um, so really be, be truthful with yourself as to how far you're pushing yourself right from the start. You know, we never want to cause harm or push us further than our body um, wants to go. Couple more breaths here and we'll move into pigeon. Long exhales can um, kind of help soothe the nervous system in some of these more challenging postures. All right, we're gonna maybe grab our blocks and then wiggle the left foot over to the right, coming into pigeon on the right side. Square your hips here. So right hip sort of pulls forward, left hip is back a bit more. And when you're ready, go ahead and melt forward. Holding in, again, about 80%. So if you go down and you're like, oh, I'm not gonna be able to hold this for this whole duration, then um, come out of it a bit.
And just allow yourself to notice without getting too attached to a certain thought. You can notice it and let it go. And clench the jaw, soften the face, release the belly. Trying to remain soft here, not rigid, not activated. Just like a bit of surrender. Nice and slow, begin to lift up. And we'll sit onto our butt. We'll pivot towards the back of the mat as the left foot comes into the right thigh. Janushir Shasana. Inhale, the arms high. Exhale, right hand to left knee. Rainbow, the arm over. Nice side body stretch. Breath in, and exhale to come up. Plant the hands under the shoulders, facing the front of the mat, pivot on the back toes, and draw the left knee into the chest. Inhale for three-legged dog. Exhale, bend the knee, open the hip. Inhale for three-legged. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, walk the hands to the feet. Sit the butt to the mat. And then come to lie flat on your back. We'll set up for a bridge. Option to grab your blocks. You can take a supported bridge, placing the blocks under the hips. Otherwise, arms down by the sides, feet hip distance, and we'll tuck the tailbones towards the knees as you Peel each vertebrae off the mat on an inhale. Tuck the shoulder blades under a bit more. Reach the heart to the wall behind you. Keep breathing. Exhale the hips down. Pull the knees into the chest. Give yourself a nice little squeeze here. Keep the legs where they're at, arms out to a T. And let the knees fall to the left as you gaze to the right. Little supine twist here. Inhale through center and switch sides. Legs fall to the right. We gaze to the left.
Inhale through center. And then we'll find Shavasana. If there's any last postures that your body is calling for, maybe Supta Bhattakanasana or an inversion, waterfall, shoulder stand, plow even, happy baby. Feel free to take those now. I'm going to take a little Supta Bhattakanasana. Recline bound angle. I'll invite you to bring the hands to the body. Again, we're bringing in earth element here. Our sense of touch is connected to the heart chakra. And earth happens to be um, highly influenced by the heart and vice versa. If you think of um, earth, mother nature, she's very nurturing and loving and compassionate. So our sense of touch can really provide a sense of grounding, care, and nurturance, activating the heart. When you're ready, make your way into Shavasana. Legs long, toes fall out wide, arms down by the sides, palms open. Letting go of the practice here, letting go of any control, not controlling the body or the breath. Not even the thoughts in the mind.
Begin to notice your breath. And the weight of your body on the ground. Notice the activity in your body, your heartbeat, your blood flow. Maybe some stuff going on in the belly, digestion. Samana Vayu. Wiggle the toes and the fingers. Place the hands on the body. Maybe even give yourself a hug, grabbing the arms around you, grabbing opposite shoulders, squeezing yourself in here. Take a breath in. Stay for the exhale. When you're ready, you can find your way into a comfortable seat. Maybe you take a big stretch first. Or maybe you roll side to side. Oof. And I'll invite you to keep the eyes closed, gaze inward if that feels okay. Sit up nice and tall. We'll inhale. The palms together at heart center, Anjali Mudra. And we'll seal the practice with the sound of one Om, giving gratitude to each other. Thank you to this practice, to our teachers and their teachers, to this space that we're in, to our capable and able bodies, to this earth. Take a breath in to prepare. Om. Inhale, thumbs to the third eye. Accept to bow. Thank you, my friends. Thank you for sharing your practice with me. I hope you had some fun. I hope you felt a little flow. I hope you used your breath. <laughs> um, we'll see you next time. Yeah, have a beautiful day.